Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. We've got a uh, cool new release for you. It's going to be a short one, but a cool one. It's the brand new CD from one of the uh, main guys from Space Rock Veterans Cork Space, Paul Williams, and his little solo project called Church of Head, The Farther Road. There you have the cover of The Farther Road. Which is really Rivers of Asphalt 2, right? So The Farther Road, Rivers of Asphalt 2. Uh, as you can see, you got 20 tracks there. And if we pop the disc out, uh, there you can see Paul Williams, keyboard, synth, drumming, beats, stand lines on bass and guitar. So I always love when you have, you know, listed here instrumentation and basically tells you all the all the stuff that he played. So uh, Paul has played, you know, the different synths. You got uh, Yamaha, Moog, Korg, Kawai, uh, all, all sorts of other things here. Spitfire Audio, no wait, Soft Sense by Waldorf Micro Q, uh, all sorts of stuff. Half the stuff I can't even pronounce, uh, but he's got some sophisticated Soft Sense, all right, here. Spitfire Audio, Melda Production, Alternate Mode, Trap Cat, Roland TDA, all this stuff, all the, all the technical stuff for all the music geeks out there. Uh, Produced by Lance Starbridge. Uh, if you're not familiar with Church of Head, if you're a space rock fan, or like an electronic music fan, like an ambient music fan, uh, you'll like Church of Head. It's all instrumental music. It's and if you're not familiar with Quark Space, one of the great uh, space rock bands of like the the 90s. Uh, Church of Head is very cool. It's a little bit more minimalistic, but but just as interesting uh 20 tracks here most of them fall in like kind of like the two to four minute range as you can see there's a lot of the titles a lot of moods a lot of textures loads of beeping blipping synths some of it's atmospheric some of it's kind of ominous sounding uh nothing on here is too rocking it's kind of cool to have a little bit of bass and drums and a uh, little bits of guitar here and there to give it more of a band feel but this this always just feels like a paul williams solo project and just him creating lots of different soundscapes and whatnot with all of his you know vast array of keyboards and synthesizers that he has at his disposal and i, I find a lot of these church of head albums fascinating listen because it's just it's really cool when someone can create these just huge soundscapes with like all these different uh, instruments and just make it sound uh, like something that can just kind of grab you and kind of take you away on a journey that's kind of what it's like uh, you don't get a lot of like separation between the tracks the album just kind of like moves along at a semi brisk pace for the most part uh, you know as far as like pointing out specific tracks I really like the um, the kind of like creepy ominous nature of uh the loneliest road which i think is pretty cool there's like this feeling of kind of like i think the reason it calls the loneliest road there's a feeling of desolation there which i really like uh the many souls of byberry was also really cool i liked the, the final track Times square and the shining sea which has got a lot of going on and, and it kind of i think the the track titles also do a really good job of conveying the mood of each individual piece even though like i said the father road rivers of asphalt 2 really does play off almost like one continual track all throughout all 20 of them so as always you know we've reviewed other church of head albums here on the channel as always good stuff you know for those who really aren't into this style of music they're probably like ah one sounds like the other sounds like the other and that might be true but if you love you know loads of synths and keyboards done in a kind of soundscapey electronic way this is just as much uh owed to the old berlin school here as i think anything else uh, as classic you know uh, space rock, you know, think like early Tangerine Dream for sure. If you like that sort of thing, you'll love this. So yeah, The Father Road, Church of Head, that is the brand new album, and you can check this out at churchofhead.com, and head is spelled H-E-D, as you can see right there. Church of Head, The Father Road, www.churchofhead.com. Uh, you can also check them out on Instagram at churchofhead and uh, whatnot. So there you have it, everybody. 
This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. Also, uh, please hit the like button before you leave. And uh, we've got links below also to our merch page and our Ko-Fi page for channel donations. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you get uh, another one or two of these today. We're going to try and pump out as many new album reviews as we possibly can. But uh, for all you uh, space rock and electronic music fans, check out Hertz of Church. Hurch of Ched, I was going to say. Church of Head, The Father Road. Check it out, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.